this reading is going to be for Cancer. Hello, Cancer. Welcome to my sacred space of love and healing. Okie dokies. So, um, as of right now, I am not doing love readings. I am only doing general readings because I put up a community post and people voted and they voted that they wanted to see general reads. So, if you want to see Love Reads again, um, when I put up my poll next month, vote again. So, there's that. I will still be doing Divine Masculine and Divine Feminine Energy Reads for the Twin Souls. But other than that, I will be doing General Reads. Alright, so let's go ahead and dive right in, Cancer. <clears throat> I've already sound cleansed your space. I am going to be starting with the Dragon Tarot and moving on from there. All right, connecting now to my guys, my star family, my ancestors, spirit guides. I already said spirit guides. And the Cancers who watch me, their spirit guides and ancestors and star family. Welcome here. Thank you for allowing me to be the clearest channel for source messages. Let's rock and roll. What does Cancer need to know about what's coming up for them in December? <clears throat> what's coming up for Cancer? What's coming up for our beautiful water signs of Cancer? Oof. I almost dropped all my cards. Damn. This Mercury has me flipped it. Look at this big rose quartz. It's in the shape of a heart. Isn't it pretty? Reminds me of a heart. Okay, what do we have for cancer, please? Cancer. Seven of Wands. Okay, pardon me. I'm going to get a little bit of cards out here before I start reading the storyline for you. Trying to figure out the energy. My thumb hurts. Too much shuffling. Knight of Cups. You know, I think it's funny. I say I'm not going to do love readings. And then love ends up popping up. Ooh, that card flew out, Cancer. And then I, I end up doing love readings. And so, I mean, I did. I read for Gemini last night. And I'm like, this is not going to be a love reading. And it turned out to be a love reading for Gemini. Like, that's what showed up for, that was coming in for them for December. So it was kind of funny. Mm. Okay, so the first card we have is the Seven of Wands, which is the energy of being sort of defensive about something. And right after that, we have the Knight of Cups. So the Knight of Cups is about a love offer, an offer of love from someone, okay? Possibly a masculine energy, okay? The thing that worries me is with this seven of wands, it's like someone wants to come in with a love offer. They want to include you into their life. And then we have this energy of like being on the defense. So <clears throat> I'm not sure if, um, If you are going to be open to this energy when it comes in, Cancer, like it's funny because they're with the Seven of Cups. This is showing me that you are often, very often times dreaming about love. OK, Seven of Cups is about being this dreamy, sort of imaginative, daydreamy state. And 
cups deal with the emotions of love. You know, anytime we have cups, it, it relates to like the emotions and romance and love and, you know, how we relate to people, right? So you're very often looking for this type of love, like a love which is going to sweep you off your feet, one where, you know, the Knight of Cups represents someone who's a hopeless romantic. So you often dream of someone coming in and romancing the crap out of you, yet when they want to come in, you're being defensive. So it's really confusing. It's really, really confusing. Um <clears throat> Here's the thing, Cancer. I'm going to be completely blunt and honest with you. If you give this person a chance, the next card that came out after the Seven of Cups is this. Look at this. This is the Sun card, okay? And yours is turning out to be a love reading as well. This is a little bit irritating. <laughs> I guess Spirit has decided that, you know, once again, I will be channeling love um, for today anyways. <clears throat> I'm doing Leo next, so we'll see what comes out for Leo. But, um, and then we have Queen of Pentacles. So, quite possibly, I don't know um, if this is your energy or your person's energy, right? We got the sun and we, got, we have the Queen of Pentacles. Now, the Queen of Pentacles would represent, like, Earth sign energy. Someone who's extremely patient and very studious you know they like to when they put their mind to something as far as like work related things they are very um dedicated to work so this person could have a tendency to be a workaholic you know this is a feminine energy who likes to work okay and you know as a result of her being able to like to work, she has a lot of pentacles. So this is a woman who would like a lot of luxury and it's very Taurus energy. Let me make sure my phone is um, off. Okay, I had to shut my <clears throat> notifications off or it's going to keep going off. So yes, this is um, a feminine who... And you know, the dragon be, you know down at her feet shows me that she's worked really hard at taming her demons right so i'm not quite sure what that's about um give me a card for the knight of cups please let's get some more clarification give me a card for the knights of cups please for cancer eight of cups so this is a masculine energy which has recently gotten rid of a lot of things in their life so they may have they may have had recently a heartbreak or something that happened in their life recently. Um, they had to leave a job or they had to leave a toxic relationship. There was something they had to get rid of and they put it in the past and they're ready to move forward. And it looks like they're ready to move for forward with you, Cancer, okay? That's how you'll know um, this person that I'm talking about. Now let's pull a card for the Queen of Pentacles. Now you will know where you fit in with this. This The masculine energy could be yours. Like you could be ready to offer someone love. Or the feminine energy could be yours. It, you know, fit it, put it where it fits, right? Um, I'm going to put all these cards back in. Except for the Queen of Pentacles. And we're going to ask for a clarifier for the Queen of Pentacles. Alright, can I have a card please for the Queen of Pentacles? Tell me why we have the Queen of Pentacles here. Give me a clarifier card. Tell me more about this Queen of Pentacles. Ooh, that flipped out. Okay, so I'm going to take that one and we'll do another one. Whoever this Divine Feminine is, um, <clears throat> she's very good at balancing her money. She feels very, very affectionate and loving towards you. This is not like, this would not be like a crappy connection if you decided to jump into it. Um, this person has a lot of deep feelings for you and, and affection. You know, two is about partnership. So you guys would be very well suited. Um, tell me one more card about the Queen of Pentacles, please, Spirit. Oh my God. We have the Two of Cups. This is two that we've gotten two times. Look at Two of Pentacles, Two of Cups. 
So it's very possible that we are dealing with the twin flame relationship cancer. Um, if you had someone in mind, a feminine, this is definitely, I would say definitely yes. It feels um, very, uh, like a very strong soul connection. I can't say for certain whether it's a twin flame connection because only you would know that. But the cards are certainly pointing towards that direction, okay? We have two of cups, which is my twin flame card in most of my decks. So there's that. And then we have the two of pentacles, which represents a deep soul connection, right? Also, this is about balancing, you know, money and stuff. So, you know, whether this is you or whether this is your feminine, you know, like I said, put it where it fits in for you, Cancer. They're very good at saving their money, but they're also very balanced. And you guys are... Um, these the way it's it's showing it, the number two so many times lets me know that you guys are perfectly suited to each other you guys match each other's energy right two of cups is a very deep soul connection this is the card of partnership right here and deep affection and love so take that how it resonates cancer um i'm going to pull a power of love card for you since we are getting into this love stuff with you and then i'm going to um get back into the tarot with a different deck and we will do a um career portion for you very quickly and then we're going to call it a reading all right so what else does cancer need to know for december what else does cancer need to know for december i swear if love comes up for leo i'm gonna be a little bit disturbed because i'm like I'm telling spirit like, oh yeah, I don't want to read, do love readings. And then boom, they're just like, nope, you're a love reader. And then everything, I did a reading for Aries and Taurus and there was no love in theirs. I mean, there was a few things about love, but their main reading was not about love at all. But Gemini's was all about love and so is yours for sure. Card for Cancer, please. Oh, my thumb hurts so much. I do so much shuffling every day. All right, we have Priorities. Can you get that to focus? You understand the paramount importance of manifesting love in all situations. So, this is a very beautiful card, Cancer, because it tells me that you understand how important it is to infuse love in everything that you do on a day-to-day -day basis. So you don't just walk the walk. You talk the talk and you walk the walk. I mean, you don't just talk the talk, you walk the walk, right? You are following your spiritual bliss. So you know the importance of unconditional love and you try to infuse it into every single aspect of your life. Okay, you try to deal with everyone on a positive note in a loving manner. And this is very important because everything that you give out into the world is going to come back to you. So you giving out that love is going to boomerang that love right back to you. And it's a really beautiful energy to be in. Okay, that's probably why you're meeting your person <laughs> because you are just having this beautiful, radiating this beautiful energy of pure unconditional love which is one of the highest emotions you can emit on the spectrum of elevation, right? It's one of the highest um, vibrations. One of the highest vibrations. Not the highest, but one of the highest vibrations. Okay? I think the higher vibration than that is like being authentic, right? Not being fake, trusting who you are. All right, what else do we have for Cancer, please? Let's wrap this up, Spirit. What else do we have for Cancer? What else does Cancer need to know about December? Mm -hmm. All right, we have the Hanged Man. So let's get a clarifier for that. Why do we have the Hanged Man here? Tell me about the Hanged Man. What about the Hanged Man? Some of you might be getting into like some deep meditation classes. We have the Hierophant. 
So the handyman and the hero fan shows me that you're really, really diving deep into your spiritual journey. You're not fucking around anymore. You're taking it serious, Cancer. You're like diving really deep into your belief systems, into why, um, you know, things um, are happening as far as your spiritual journey. You're, you're questioning things. You're saying, you know, why do I believe in this? Why are my manifestations coming true? Why, um, why do I believe in twin flames? Like you're questioning everything and you're trying to find the answers to, to these really deep, um, questions in your life. You're questioning, why am I here? What am I doing? Am I on the right path? And that's perfectly normal. The Hierophant is about, you know, questioning all your belief systems and even the ones that you thought were set in stone, it's, you know, turning them upside down, you know, so like, for example, if you believe in, in a certain type of religion or spiritual practice, it's even questioning that spiritual practice and, you know, maybe believing in a totally different opposite path because, you know, with the hanged man, you're questioning all of these things and you're looking towards more enlightenment in your life. You're trying to elevate your consciousness, right? And to do that, we have to ask those questions. Like, why do I believe in this? Like, why why do I have this spiritual belief and not this one, right? You're asking all those beautiful questions. We have the Page of Cups again, Cancer. This is, uh, okay, and it came out right next to the Hero Fan. So I'm going to pull another card for the Page of Cups. Um, tell me about the Page of Cups. Tell me about the Page of Cups again. Because this Page of Cups is coming out with the Hierophants, Knight of Wands, um, it's coming in very quickly as well, this love offer, faster than you think. It could be with a possible fire sign. Knight of Wands is fire sign energy. <clears throat> we have all signs here. We had, you know, earth energy, fire. So, you know, it doesn't matter. It could be any sign, but those are just the energies. But the Knight of Wands is someone who wants to make an offer quickly. Wands is about fire energy. It's about moving forward. And the person is on a freaking horse carrying a torch. This person also might be spiritual if you're a spiritual because, you know, there's like these butterflies or dragonflies here which represent the soul. Um, the Page of Cups came out right after the Hierophant. So this person wants to commit to you. Um, it could... The Hierophant could also represent a marriage contract. So if this person does not believe in like marriage per se, like legal marriage, they might want some kind of a spiritual marriage with you. Or this could be a divine counterpart marriage, right? Like the union of two souls. Dare I say it again? Twin soul. All right, we're going to do two more cards from this deck. Please bear it for cancer and then we'll move it on. What else does cancer need to know? So, it seems to me like you have a very beautiful connection coming in. Okay, so we have Six of Cups, but it came out in reverse. <clears throat> One more. And Eight of Pentacles. Okay, so we have the Six of Cups, but it came out in reverse. The Six of Cups when it's like this is about being nostalgic, um, you know, looking back on the past and yearning for a simpler time. You know, it's, it's trying to heal, um, childhood trauma and things like that, but it came out in reverse. So this shows me that this is perfect because this shows me cancer. Whereas before you might've been in this energy of looking back on like past loves and past relationships. Now this shows me because it's in reverse. You're ready to move forward. You're like, I'm done holding on to the past. I've learned a lot of lessons. And the eight of pentacles shows me you've done a lot of hard work on yourself. This is also about you trying to, um, perfect your job so whatever it is you do for work cancer you might be on the verge of a raise or something because you're working really hard that's what this is showing me but it came out also with the six of cups in reverse so this shows me that you're working really hard at moving on from the from the past i am so freaking proud of you cancer 
I'm trying not to cuss. So you are working hard at staring into the future and being present in the moment. And you're no longer holding on to these past things, which would possibly hold you back from this new love offer. So very, very good energy. Okay. <clears throat> Try not to let that past hold you back. Okay. We're going to go on to your career portion. Um, for those, let's pull the card for those that work for themselves or are entrepreneurs first, please spirit. And then we'll go on to those that are in the workforce, um, and work for someone else or have a nine to five. All right. Um, let's get a card for the entrepreneurs first. Those that work for themselves. All the boss bitch cancers. Woohoo. You glow, Cancer. You glow. What do we got for the entrepreneurs? Boom. Deserving this. I like that. All right. Let's get a card for the Cancers who are working for someone else or who work a nine to five or a corporate job or something like that. Someone who does a nine to five shindig. Ooh, that one flew. Where did it go? Crazy moonlighting. Boom. I love that too. All right. So let's dive into them. So deservingness. This is for the, the cancer entrepreneurs or those that work for themselves. You are, can I get this to focus? You are a beloved child of God, like everyone else. And you deserve to receive the support that will allow you to focus upon your divine life purpose. Even if you can't yet recognize your lovable qualities, trust that God and the angels can see how amazing you truly are. <clears throat> so, Source and the universe are saying you deserve to be supported while you're trying to focus on your life purpose. So I feel like a lot of you either know what your life purpose is or you're working towards um a job or a business that lights your soul up right and the universe is saying you do deserve that okay even if sometimes you feel like you're not lovable you are a part of god god is a part of you god is not outside of you it's not this man sitting in the clouds god is inside your beautiful hearts you are a part of god you are a beautiful loving slice of soul energy which comes from god's source we're all connected to the source of one love which is god okay so it says trust that god and the angels can see how amazing you truly are. Now you just have to believe that you're amazing and beautiful and lovable. My beautiful cancers because you are. Okay. All right. This one is for those that work a nine to five or, you know, work for someone else. This is, this card is called moonlighting, moonlighting. It says you can start working on your dream career part-time while keeping your other job to pay the bills. Soon your dream career will take flight and fully support you. So if you feel like you might be stuck in the matrix, take heart, dear one, okay? Because their spirit is telling you cancer, okay? You can work your um, part-time job to help you pay the bills and whatnot, right? While you do your dream career job, which is something that might fit your soul's growth, right? Um, and soon your dream job will fully support you. So take your time. Everything is in divine timing. The universe knows what you want. The universe knows what your soul wants and it wants to support you on your journey. Okay. Towards self-discovery and towards, um, you know, doing something which is going to help the whole entire world. So that concludes this reading. If something resonated cancer, please smash that like button. Share with all your cancer friends. If you want to book a reading with me, all of my prices are in the description box below. Thank you to those of you who've already booked readings with me and thank you for your patience. Um, the Goldie appointment fix is how you can book a reading with me. Um, subscribing and sharing and liking um, my videos is a free way to support me. I also have other ways you can support me. I have two like tip jars below in my description box. And also I have a Patreon. Um, 
I only have one tier, you guys, and it's literally like $5.55. So it's not very expensive. And, you know, it's a way that you can support me every month so that I can also support you on your journey, all right? Um, it puts us both in a high vibration, right? Because giving is receiving. All right, Cancer, I love you. Bye.